Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Kunle and I'm from Cade. Uh, last time we went over Mokoro. Hopefully it has been added to your AutoCAD vocab so that you can be on your way to being a AutoCAD master. Today we're going to talk about another one, another uh, command which I use a lot. Um, it is called uh, DC. DC doesn't stand for DC Comics or District of Columbia. It actually stands for Design Center. So, okay, let's go and start. So, this is um, just a simple elevation, you know, the four sides, uh, a section, things like that. So, you know, when you want to print out this for your client, let's say you want to show them this and you want to maybe even be more professional of course you have to make a title page you have to have a, a good setup and you know basically to do that we have got to go here to the layouts and this is where we usually create our layouts but what if we have a layout from another existing part that we just wanna bring in here and just edit instead of creating one or instead of opening another one that is where DC comes in and DC is actually bigger than that so let's just go back to an old file um, sorry yes so this is an example of my title block right so there's my logo the north arrow my notes name of the client name of the drawing the page number re revision number if you wanna know how to make a good title block for your drawings you can hit me up in the subscribe uh, you can hit me up in the email oh by the way if you are coming here for the first time and you don't know who I am I'm Kunle from Cade don't be shy to subscribe and yeah so no I don't want to sorry my computer is rude sometimes but yes so right now this is what we have I want to use this title block for this drawing but I don't want to copy and paste and do all those kind of things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type DC so you type DC sometimes for some computers it takes time so this is what pops up right um, basically what it is is your list of drawings is like if you are looking for your file your folder you know your C drive and things like that so what I want to do is I want to go and get the title block from the previous file and I want to put it here so I'm just gonna go into the folder itself and look for the file itself so this is the uh, list of drawings and these are the files in the folders it's funny I'm actually using my hands thinking that you guys are gonna see my hands but anyways this is the name of the other drawing right the drawing with the other title block so over here you have a list of things that you can transfer from that file to this file so if I want to transfer the blocks to this file that would be there if I want to if I want to transfer the dimension styles that would be this if I wanted to transfer the layers layouts line types multiliters table styles textiles and xrefs this is where I come to so today we want to import just the layouts so I'm gonna double click on the layouts and in the other drawing if I can quickly go back if it allows me to go back so if you see here I have one two three four five six seven different pages that's for sections elevations plans and things like that right so let's say this is an elevation this is a good elevation page so I wanna copy this right here this whole title block onto the other page so I'll know that this is six and hopefully when you're watching this you actually understand what I'm doing if not just let me know so I wanna copy page six and bring it into my new drawing which is over here so i would go six and I'll double click on it it's gonna take some time and you can see it's arrived so you see everything is there right now the only issue why the image is not there is because I think I 
change the location but anyways you could always bring it in and you can always change it so you can always edit the information right the good thing about it is that it brings everything from that page so everything that was from the former page is still here so once that is here I can edit I can double click in my viewport box I can bring in let me unlock it where are you there we go so I just want to put that typically at a quarter scale and that's how I'd set up my drawings and I'll lock it and if I wanted to make it all nice I'll just move you know the existing elevation blah blah elevation well, hopefully you get my drift of how it works so let's just go over it again so let's say I wanted to bring in let me look for another one actually let's say I wanted to bring in this title block right this is a3 the name of the file is Tisdale so I'd go to my actual drawing where I want to import it I'll type DC I want to bring in the layouts and I go to A6 and A6 will pop up right there and I can edit it where are you there you are so that's how that works the same thing would work if I wanted to bring in the layers from the other side or if I wanted to bring in the dimension styles the blocks oops it's asking me to generate the blocks textiles xrefs everything like that so hopefully that was enough for you to guys for you guys to understand today um next week would we'll probably start on some other things things that you might have not heard of like sketch and oops or anything like that but yes thank you for sitting through another video and I will see you guys later. Thanks and bye.